All right, my man, state your name. Let them know you on Nickavelli TV. My name Kev from East Harlem. Been a Knicks fan all my life. And you on Nickavelli TV. Nickavelli TV, big shout out to y'all. Holding up the Knicks fans, trying to win a chip, man. Now, talk to me, man. How long you been a Knicks fan, bro? I'm 38. I've been a Knicks fan since I... I can remember since I was about three years old, man. Okay, so your parents raised you right. In order to be three and loving these Knicks, you had parents who had to be motherfucking Knicks fans, man. Not hard Knicks fans. That's my what mom, I'm talking about, mom, man. Kudos to your parents, my man. Mom, even, the, even the females are Knicks fans. God man. damn, That's you gonna live a long life, man. That's a fact, man. All right, man, let's keep this shit going, man. Who's your favorite player on the Knicks? As of now or all time? We can go all time, we can go now. Talk to me. Right now, Shit, I don't really like nobody on that motherfucking squad to tell you the truth right now, man. Ah, oh, come I fuck on, with, man. Now, I fuck with Andre Babbitt, but, I mean, we need we need wins right now, B. We keep you building, and this shit is just taking too long, B. We need a, we need a point guard now. Okay. You get what I'm saying? All right. But my favorite nigga of all time got to be Spreewell. All right. Because he just had the heart, B. Okay. Need Spreewell, then after that, probably Nate Robinson. After that, Allen Houston. Okay. Now... When we talk about R.J. Barrett, I'm going to jump there. Yeah. You in love with this game? No. Explain to me why not. It's too slow for me. It's too slow. The game is too fast. He can't, he, he can't create, he can't create, he can't create, he can't create on his own. He do a pick and roll action. The game is up and down. He got physical, he's physical specimen. He can jump. He got a little deep, but he can't create on his own. And if we ain't got no point guard, we fuck. Because he can't create his own. He can't isolate. You dig what I'm saying? So okay. we basically wasted a pick on him. Ooh, oh. we're going to go that far yeah, to say we, yeah. that we wasted a pick. Yeah, we wasted a pick on him. On R.J. Barrett. Yeah. So that's easy for me to say that you was hoping for Zion Wins. That's a, oh, hell, come on now. Who was it, man? But I'm saying, man, if you watch their games out in college, right? Uh-huh. Some would say that R.J. Barrett had a better game than Zion. And that Zion, he's explosive. Right. Likes to dunk. But that weight he's carrying with him. Basketball is all about energy, B. You dig what I'm saying? And Zion bring energy. Energy bring wins. Especially in the garden. Just, just the excitement of a crowd getting you dunk brings the whole team morale up. Andre Barrett, we can get one, two dunks a game. Come on, B. We need more than that. This the garden, B. This is the home of the Mecca. You dig what I'm saying? If we ain't doing that, man, like, I don't want mediocre. You dig what I'm saying? We've been too fucked up for too long. We need star power now. Niggas talking about getting Russell Westbrook right now. Talk to me I'm, about I'm that. I'm tired of getting old, washed up point guards after they hate day. But Westbrook, it seems like he ain't slowing down. So I take him right now. You, you take what him? I'm saying? I take, I take Russell right now. Would you take him over Chris Paul? Hell yeah, Chris Paul, Chris Paul on one leg, man. He can still for ball, but how, how, many, how many more good years he got out of him? One, two years? Nah, man. Get Russell Westbrook. We need him, man. Wow. That's a fact. So, if Russell Westbrook, Brooks, pardon me, was our point guard, do you think that would open up the lane for R.J. Barrett? Hell yeah. That'd be a go. That'd be a, yeah. That'd be a good one. That'd be a good one too. Definitely. I like that. I definitely like that. Yeah, that'd be a good look. So. R.J. Barrett must got a little game in him. No, but look what I said before. I said we need a point guard. R.J. Barrett can't create on his own. He ain't no ISO player. You get Westbrook, he demanded two, he get, he demand two three people on him. That cleared a whole lane up for R.J. Barrett. You could throw alley to that nigga all day long. So that'd be a good look. So Westbrook over Chris Paul? Hell yeah. That's a fact. And if Chris Paul was our point guard, how would that affect R.J. Barrett's game? He'll develop, but... It wouldn't be like working with Westbrook. Right, said. because I, if two years ago you say Chris Paul, yeah. Right now, how old Chris Paul? Like, come on, 35 man. 35 years old. Come on, man. Like, nah, man. After the, after, after the third quarter, he's going to want to sit down. Like, nah, man. Nah. <laughs> nah. All right, my man. Moving right along. Mitchell Robinson. I don't, like, listen, B. I'm tired of us getting these players that can bring energy but can't put the ball in the hoop and don't know and don't got good decision making in the fourth quarter. He's not a player you want to get a ball in the fourth quarter. He's a good role player, but we started using him last year like he a first option. Nah, I can't. I don't fuck with him. Nah. You don't fuck with Mitch at all. Nah, I don't fuck with Mitch. You're not impressed with his blocks. Nah, I don't, I don't fuck with him. 
I, I can do without it. God damn. Bro, it's all about chemistry and energy, B. It's the reason why niggas let him go. How many teams he been on so far? Who, Mitch? Yeah. Nah, are you confused, brother? Mitchell Robinson. He came... Well, I forgot what, what high school he came, but he played, he ain't played no college. He went straight to the NBA, and the Knicks is his first team, man. Mitchell Robinson. the fuck is that? Yeah, man, because you ain't, come on. Mitch! Mitchell Robinson. Oh, my man. I'm, I'm, I'm brain fart right now. All man. right, so being that you brain fart, you got to scratch what you said about my boy Mitch. You can't throw that out there. Talk about Mitch ain't got right. this and Mitch right. ain't got right. that. Because you don't even know who he is, bro. You right, you right, you right, you right. Hold on, hold on. Now I got a brain fog right now. Yeah, you my right. man got a brain fog. Nick Avellius, man. Get my man. You know, we're going to give him a chance hold to on, recant his statement. Right now. Hold yeah, on. Google my man Mitch, man. Before oh, you yeah. oh, yeah. Now I fuck with Mitch. Yeah, I fuck with oh. Mitch. My fault, my fault. I fuck with you Mitch. You need to apologize to Mitch. Look now, in that you camera. You know what I'm talking about? What's up, nigga? Nah, name? look at the camera, my what's, G. What's our, what's, our, what's our powerful name, man? Julius Randle? That nigga there, man. I can't stand him. Talk to me. I can't stand Mitch B. Why is he No, you can't book? stand Julius Randle. Julius Randle. Get me, Chop. I take that apologize back. to my, my man, man. My fault. I apologize, B. <laughs> I apologize. Now, Randle, now, now, no disrespect to him, because he a baller. Now, I mean, he grown ass man. I don't take nothing from him. But last year, they was giving him the ball fourth quarter like he was a superstar. He ain't no superstar. You dig what I'm saying? Like, he's a role player. Right. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah, Randle. My fault, Randle. Yeah, 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 so you don't like Randall? No, I don't like Randall. I don't like Randall. Are you aware of the fact that Randall wasn't sharing that rock with R.J. Barrett? No, and R.J. Barrett was pissed? Yeah. I'm not even going to hold you. I wasn't even watching the season last year. I ain't watching. Why not? Because I knew it was a dud. Like, I'm tired, bro. Like, I've been a nigga, I'm 38 years old. Like, how, how many more years? Maybe I'll keep going through this. You dig what I'm saying? When that, that late, that year, when we got D-Rose, uh, no one in that trade with Chicago, I was like, okay, like that was my last one, like, all right, we got a shot. And then when that fell, it was like, yo, come on, what's going on now, man? Dolan needs to go. Like, Dolan needs to go. I'm tired. How do you feel about the talk of Carmelo Anthony coming back to the Knicks? Carmelo, man, I love Melo, man. Like, who don't love Melo, man? Melo or Nick Favre, man. He and Nick Favre. He come back, I ain't mad at it. But at this point, like last year, him playing in Portland, he was a good luck. But, uh... I think he like he on his decline right now. But he look good, man. He's he still, in shape. No, he still look good, but he can't run the team right now. Can't run the team. Portland and Portland, that still was a uh, Dame Litter's team. Like, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Melo was like the third option. Yeah. We ain't got we ain't got a one or two option in, in, in the garden. So okay. we gonna come back and be the number one guard uh, option? Nah. All right. Talk to me about Frank Nilakina, point guard in the Knicks. Yeah, Yo, you know I had hope, I had faith for him, man. I really did have faith for him. But uh, it's taking too long. What's his fourth year? He's going to his fourth year? Yeah. It's taking too long. It's taking too long. You don't see him playing off, off the bench? Second unit? He ain't got, he ain't got, that, he ain't got that killer, man. He, got, he ain't got that killer instant, man. But when you see him play for Team France... Yeah, we talking about the NBA, bro. Oh, uh, you don't want to hear that Team nah, France shit. I, listen, we, we are Knicks, we, this Knicks fans, man. I'm tired of all the... Uh, what, what you like about him? Nah, bro. We need players. It's the guard. Like, it's the guard, man. We need players, man. That's it, man. We need superstars, and that's it, B. Everybody, like, it's the guard. It's New York City. You went in here, you a guard. You getting a statue. All right. Like, I don't understand it. So, if we get your boy Westbrook, see the Knicks going to the playoffs? Of course. Do you of see course. him busting cupcake ass that's on the New Jersey Nets? I still want to say New Jersey, although they're in Brooklyn. I can say worse things about that team. I can call them the second-class citizens when we talk about these Nets. So if Westbrook was to come to the Knicks, it would be a rivalry between him and Kevin Durant. And Kevin Durant going to get the upper hand every time. Oh. It's KD. We ain't going to do that. Come we, on, man. We ain't going to do that. Come we, on, we, man. We, we ain't biased. We Knicks fans, but... Uh, Listen, man. He the, he the enemy, but... If you're a diehard talk. Knicks fan, yeah, you got to be biased. All right, all right, let me ask you a question. You got to be biased right, so if you're KD, a diehard right, Knicks so fan, KD man. was a free agent, what? did you want him? Did you want him to come to the guard? Before that torn Achilles? Hells yeah. <laughs> Before the torn Achilles. But now, his Achilles is torn. This man going around the city talking about the New York Knicks ain't a cool team to play for. I mean, yeah, God damn. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. But if tomorrow he be like, I'm coming to the Knicks, we'll come, we'll, we'll welcome him over arms. 
It's KD, man. How many KDs in the world, man? Listen, the question is, how many cupcakes is out here in the world that you like? Are you a cupcake eater? I don't like cupcakes. It's too All right, then you right. can't like Kevin Durant, I, then. Listen, With listen. that being said, it's your boy, Nick TV. My man, pleasure, man. Yo, make sure y'all like and subscribe. Peace. I can't stand on Brooklyn Nets.